The campfire sing you. No. Oh, Peaches dance. could dance today. I was like singing myself, and I look over and Peaches is dancing. I'm like, that, I felt like she's a I was like, what, what, what reality am I living in? This bird is dancing with me. But she, I've never like seen her like really interact. Like I didn't know she. Oh. She will. She's been on she live streams before. She is a hidden before. dance monster. She can do everything Kaki can do. But Whoa. she's not a dog. But then I started dancing, and then she broke out like seven different moves. So it's not even like this bird can just do a little head bobbing. No, she, she was shaking it and twirling around, and uh. She gets she gets the beat. She, hey, balance, no food, dog training. Yeah, she's she, she has she rhythm. Un, yeah, yeah, she has rhythm, definitely. She likes the words too, and she likes it when you sing. Do we have water over there? Jose, yeah, honestly. What's up, Jose? She's a big competition for you. I would love to see you guys oh, da that's dance right. battle though. Oh, you and Peaches, Jose and Peaches. That would be great. That would be a great video. We got a hell of a fire going. It wasn't going. A hell of and a then, fire. Yeah, and then I used a fire starter. You know, one of those metal things. Oh, wait. Jose. And then I was going to start the fire with one of those. You yeah, know. he was like doing this for like an hour. An sun. hour. And I was like, Peter, it's nighttime. There's no sun. Like, there's no. I'm a like, prepper. It's wet. You're not going to kindle a fire. It took forever to convince him to just like get a lighter. I was going to get the bow out. And then Destiny's like, no. Don't, oh, and then he was like, wait, I think I have some flint and steel in the house. Well, it's like this. Yeah. But Jose Peach is not the. Um, Iconic pop music legend, but he has a bird named Peaches. Yes, that's oh, you mean like Peaches and Herb or whatever? No, Peaches. She makes like techno. Oh, that Peaches. Techno. Right. Pop. That's a different Peaches. Yeah. It's true. What else is in the Teachers of Peaches? I I, I do have a uh, something important to talk about as we were watching the the Amish kids that are going. Oh yeah, we living been... with the English, and I found out something that. Destiny thinks uh, Abe is adorably cute. No! Uh, I am a little jealous. No! Ew. She thought he was hot. Abe. She said, this is what Destiny said, sort of. She said, if somebody could only tell him how to dress. I think you were thinking that. No, I wasn't thinking That's that. That's totally your own thoughts. I never said and that. And when he went to the strip club with his buddy. See, I thought that was sweet. Who was 32. What is yeah. he doing going out of the Amish now at 32? I thought all these kids were about. The rest of them are like 20. 21, yeah. I thought he was 20 and then he was like, oh, i Jeremiah. His name's Jeremiah. We've been watching Jer Bre Breaking Amish. Jeremiah wanted the lap dance for sure. He oh, was, yeah. Oh, yeah. So his which, friend wasn't comfortable going in the strip club because he had a girlfriend, which is just like his... That's how his, I would have been. Sure. His personal prerogative. I, I would have said that and as then, wrong. And then Jeremiah's all like, oh, I thought you were more man than that. Like, shaming him. Yes. Yes. And it wouldn't have worked with me either. I wouldn't have... I, I kept walking every time when I was younger and I saw one of my buddies try to dra drag me in one of those things. I was like, why would we want to do that? That's wrong. Those girls are half naked. I, you know, I remember one time one of my buddies like drugged me in there and I was, I was saying, I'm not going to look. And I did. I went like that. I did look and I left right away because I was. Oh, did you? Yeah, it was wrong, baby. It was wrong. <laughs> You're scared. Wrong. You were scared in there. I, I was scared. You were like a little I bunny. Was, but I wasn't really like a little bunny, but I was a lot like Abe. Except I dress better than Abe, Abe that's for sure. Abe as an Abe's Abraham going, Lincoln. Abe's going bald, too. Yeah. That kid's 21, and he's going bald. So that was in 2017. So I definitely well, have more Well, I think bald Abe. is also a look. Like, he could just shave it off and just own the baldness. Bald can be hot. I know. That's bald what that's what a lot of dudes do. They're just toxic. like, screw it, and they shave it off. Yeah, What's and up, then toxic? nobody knows. Nobody knows if you're bald as a choice or bald if by not choice. Right. It's a look. No, it's a look. Some some dudes look good with bald. a bald head. Yeah, you should. I don't because I have um, Steve here. Steve? Yeah, it has its own name. You know that. Look at it. It's Look at the body on this. People wait, wait, have wait, accused wait, me wait, of wait, getting wait, plugs. Wait, wait. So when... Wrong. You're jealous. When you so were would like, that Amish kid be? When you disappeared for a few hours the other day, and then you came back and you're like, "Oh, sorry, I was talking to Steve." I was talking you, to my hair. What do you tell I, it? I'll just be like, "Man, you look good today, Steve." What it is, has its own name. Cause look at it. 
It can't just be like, look it. I was born with this. That Amish kid would be so jealous. He if I went, if every time I'm around the Amish or the Mennonite people, they're looking and pointing right at my hair. That's what they're pointing at, my hair going. Wow, look at the English guy with the hair. And that's just life. It's life. Some people get a hair that has to have its own name, and some people don't. <laughs> It'd be funny if one day you were bending over on live, and, and then it fell, fell off, off, and it fell off. Trust me, I've been accused of that. This stuff is real. It's real. Yep. No Steve. plugs, no nothing. Steve. Steve. Notice the 70s thing I'm going with lately. It's like, uh, like 70s, you know, like 1978. I'm retro. You are retro. I'll tell you something that Destiny said today that was sort of mean. We were at Wegmans and there was a, a poster for getting your flu shot and it was a lady, right? It was a lady and she had my, a similar haircut and I said, well, look, it was totally white though. And I said, look, you could just cut her hair off and put it on me, right? The 70, you know, like the 80 year old lady. And, and it was totally white. And I said, except, you know, it looked the same except for the color and Destiny says, no, it's exactly the same. That's how your hair is. <laughs> it's not white yet. No, but you had the same haircut as her. Yes, I do. I do. Every time <laughs> Destiny you does look this, better. oh, you hate you it. You notice I'm I go sorry. like that. It's, no, baby, it's all right. But I do it. Like I got like uh, sensitive feet and sensitive, sensitive scalp, sensitive ears. You have sensitive ends. My, my trachea, for God's sakes, never put pressure on the trachea. It flips me out. It does. It does. Like so I'm just like oh. Not this again. I'm just telling everybody. I'm sensitive. But that, that's my story. Abe? It was so funny watching them go shopping. They, uh, it, it was, it, you know, I've seen it, so I don't want to let on. I think I remember what happens. It's sort of surprising. Who goes back? No, it's not. They're Does already. Does someone go back? I feel like it's Kate because she's like. Breaking... That's weird. You would say that. She's... I would think that she would fit in better than all of Me them. Me too, but she's like breaking down right now. At first, I thought right. she did, but I think she just can't handle it. Cause like the first week that she was out, she was in Florida and she got a DUI. She got her license immediately, got a DUI, and then she goes to New York and she's just crying, and then she's happy, and then she's calling herself she... crazy Kate. Wait a minute, she got a DWI in Miami. In Florida, yeah. Why was she in Miami? When Whenever she first got kicked out, she went to Florida. I didn't. I don't know if she was in Miami. She got kicked out. She got kicked out of the Amish for, for doing what? the show. Oh, oh, she said she's gonna do the show, and so she, they said, "You get, you're out of here." So right, before she went on the show, she went to Miami. Right, because they're not allowed to be. It's a shamed. good place to go. I don't know Kate. if she was in Miami. She, they just said Florida. Florida. She should have gone to Miami or Key West. Those are my recommendations. Kate, the Amish girl. Fort Lauderdale. I've been there two times and I, two or three. I went to Fort Lauderdale with my family when I was a child. What about Cape Coral? Went to the Yankee Clipper and had snails. Um, one night I had Pompano the next night and then Prime Rib the third night and the other nights I can't remember what I had, but that I remember. Yum. Shout out Florida. Florida's a great state, don't you think? Yes. I Key, love it there. The Keys are beautiful. The Keys you are know, so beautiful. I never even really got to go there. Oh my God. It's as far south as you can really go. It's like, isn't it like real sh short, like a short distance to Cuba from the end, the last island? It's like really short. You could, I don't know, do the best. Well, Diana and I had swam that. I couldn't swim and I'm a Princess? No, Diana and I had. Oh. That was a, Olympic swimmer way back when. Really? Yeah, she was a really great swimmer and she was great at distance. And a lot of people tried to do that swim from the United States to Cuba. Yeah. Like, as like, how fast can I do it and shit? It's very difficult. Um, everybody ends up freezing because you're in the water for so long. It doesn't matter if it, the water's 80, 85 degrees. It doesn't matter because your body temperature is going to plummet. Yeah. Because water's around water. you. You're in 80 degree water for how many hours it takes and then they're 
you know, shivering by the end. All of them are like, um, it seemed like Diana sunburnt. I don't know. I couldn't do it. That I'm sounds a, miserable. I'm a terrible swimmer. It's like, what do you have to terrible. prove? Why do you need to do that? We know, I agree. We know that you can swim. Yeah. Uh, why do you have to climb Mount, Mount Everest? Mount Everest. I agree. People who climb Mount Everest, it's like, why? Why? What are you trying what, to yeah, prove? Yeah, what are you trying to prove? I, you we got, get it. You like yeah. to hike. Yeah. Or um, there's like that, that death thing with Mount Everest. Well, that's what's really sad. The Sherpas, I think they're called, that like lead people up, they die a lot. Like, sure, they do it for so money because they have to. And then a lot of people die on there and they can't get picked up, so they're just Sucks. gonna stay there eternally. And they're sure. preserved because it's so cold. Nasty. And the crows might eat you. Do crows even go up there? Yes, they do. There's that's... ravens up that high and there's, there's oxygen bottles. Like a friend of mine did Kilimanjaro and he said once you get uh... up to a certain point, there's just bottles everywhere, like, you know, oxygen bottles, because you take them up, you, you can't bring them down. This is like, like at base camp, there's just oxygen bottles everywhere. Humans are the worst. Yeah, it's literally Like just That's to climb, said. just, cause, just because you want to climb the mountain, yeah. you're gonna litter all over it, like. C call me crazy, but I think that they should make climbing Everest and all that shit, like fucking, you can't do it. Yeah. Why are you going to do that? Everest is pretty crazy. And then somebody dies trying to, like, get them down or something. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it's not only are you putting yourself at risk, you're putting, like, the Sherpa, other people, like... Hypoxia, I bet, is not a bad way to go because I bet you just get tired. Like, you just, sure. like, pass out, you're done. Yeah, you're just tired, you fall asleep, and then don't wake up. I don't know. I, I, I've never understood it. I, you know... Dog hunting, though, I did do that because it was sort of... I do it alone with my dog, Ike. I get it, sort of. I just don't get, like... It's a little extreme. Like, I'm going to freeze my ass. I'll go freeze my ass off dog hunting, right? But then I'm going home. That's sanity. That's called sanity. What is a sky funeral? Oh, is that where they take you up the mountain and leave you? That I think that, that one. Or the, there's, like, the... The one where they put you in a in a rocket, your ashes or whatever. I I think it, I think that's what it is. They take you up on a mountain. Hey, Michelangelo. And they let uh, the ravens get you. And I'm not sure what mountain they do that at, but you could do that. No, sky funeral is being eaten by vultures. Yeah, they take you up the mountain and leave you. Oh. They take your body I up. I feel like the, you would be into that. Uh, too planned out. That's true. Like, yeah, people who plan. Are I'm not. I'm not that ceremonial. But I know you love vultures. Get rid of me. You love vultures, though. Sure, but I mean, if I was in the woods and some raccoons found me, if I was dead, that's fine. But you don't have to plan that. Like, just burn me up and get me out of here. I don't need it. Who? What do you want my body around for? It's medical waste. Make Say goodbye. Into, I want to be made into a mannequin. That's sort of when the, the Chinese thing where no, they... No, I think she's uh, Spanish. Oh, I thought you were talking about the, um, you know, where they, the bodies that they preserved and like cut them in half and stuff. You know that show? No. Oh, well, it's, um, what is that? Bodies Alive or something? You, they cut bodies in it? They, they, they took human bodies and then they preserved them in some way that like they could slice, slice them down the middle, right? Mm -hmm. And do stuff like that. But they also did like weird stuff. Like, I, I believe... Oh, like used for art, maybe? Well, it was art. Uh, I wish you had your phone. We could have you Google it and see what we were talking about. Do you have it? Yes. Oh, okay. What is it? What Wait, is are we going to make hot dogs? Yeah, but we got to get that fire going, so just let it sit there and, and let it burn. Okay. Um, what is that show called? Every, somebody in this chat knows what that show is. What do I look up? Um, sorry about the... Um, I went to I went to that exhibit. What is the name of that exhibit? It traveled the country. Anybody know? Body, body Worlds? No, that wasn't it, was it? It was. I guess it was Body Worlds. Try Body Worlds. I didn't know that was what it was called. I think that they preserve those bodies using, this is what I think, pumping in um, cyanoacetate. Well, that's crazy fucking... Glue. Sorry. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, but I mean, there's there's the human ones, too, that are just, like... It's just bizarre. You know, like, look at that. Do you see that? 
These are real? Yeah. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Those are human bodies. Look, he's fencing. Yeah. Now, they don't know who the human bodies were, and some people said that they thought that it could have been, like, Chinese criminals or something. So it's sort of a... There's, like, you know... Can they know. do that but keep the skin on me? No, uh, uh, yeah, like, maybe. It's like, the, so many my more. ideally, I'd want to be used to, like, model fashion. And that. Are those coyotes? I think so. Those sound pretty far away, too. Um, Thrown into a bog? Okay, which bog, though? Like a peat bog, like in, in Ireland? Is that what you're talking about? Those are coyotes coming from that direction. They sound close. No, they sound really far. No, they don't. To be up on the, on the mountain in that direction. Like if they're behind us, we know. Look at that, the old man. <gasps> the guy playing chess, look at his brain. That's what I think they did. I think that they used uh, cyanoacetate, I think. Or whatever that stuff is. Wow. Like, um, made it, you know, you can make that stuff, crazy glue, in different formulas. So it's thick, or you can make it so it's real thin. And, um, like, if you take crazy glue and you add baking soda, it sets up real quick. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I told you that. Mm -hmm. And, um, so you could make it real thin. You could pump it through the body. And, um, you know, there, I, don't, I don't know the exact process. And it's, the process is that they're not, they haven't divulged how they did it yet. This is pretty cool. I don't cool. think, I don't think. Maybe they have. Um, it's, it's cool. I didn't go see the show. Um. Did it freak you out? This one's nah, it doesn't freak me out. The, like, look how they even, like, got the muscles tensing. Like, how did they do uh, that? I, I think it's more or less just sort of, um, well, it's gratuitous. I mean, I don't know. I, you know, like, I don't know. I don't have any problem with Look, it. Look, he's playing the saxophone. That's great. It's just sort of... He's driving if, a if ship. If you type in, who, who were the... Um, this is how I feel. Who, who were the people? Who were the people that they used? Like, do they... People who donated their bodies for plastination. Um, I think some somebody said that it was like um, I don't know who who put it out. I Is, think that's definitely a conspiracy. I mean, that sounds really insane. They're using Chinese criminals to make art. I got the impression that it, it was like a, a Chinese show. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. That was years ago, too. Somebody said that. I know nothing about the show. I just know that the show was there. Yeah. Gunther von Hagens in Germany. Uh, 19,000 since 19... Oh, he's been doing it for a while. No shit. Body donation is and remains the ethical cornerstone. Huh. Gunther's cranking it out. Um... You go, Gunther. Sort of weird. I don't know if I'd want to be involved. Cadaver artists have been Burn around for a long up. time. Get rid of me. I don't want... Yeah, I, people donated their bodies. I don't want myself in a... Um, I don't want myself in a I cemetery. Would do that Why would I want to be in a something gallery cool. traveling? Like, if I got to play the violin or something, I'll, I'll do it. That one Put me is... on a motorcycle if yeah. I'm going to do it. I'm the outlaw. Oh, you're so cool. That's yeah. such a good idea, dude. Really? Yeah, Put the me motorcycle. on the unicycle juggling ba uh, bowling balls. Thank you, Balance. Th yeah, thank you. That's very nice of you. Um, this, this... Oh, put me on a unicycle juggling. I just said that. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, and with bowling balls. Hang on, let me see if I can move this wood around. I thought you said tricycle. Yeah, put me on the tricycle. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. You can steal my. <laughs> That's like when someone's like, guys, I have a great idea, and then they just repeat. <laughs> this better go. Okay, I want to be playing with the uh, fire. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make hot dogs, guys. It might go. Hang on, we do have fire. If I keep. doesn't help there's no wind tonight. Thank you. I'm trying. Oh, I love Caitlin. Ask a mortician. I really enjoy her videos. Who's that? She is a mortician with a YouTube channel. Oh my god, really? But she actually makes really good videos that like I, Break so down the stigma of like. Okay, could, could I say something? Yeah, there is a stigma. You know why? Because you're working with dead bodies, and to me and a lot of other people, that's gross. Okay, well, I'm so not... a lot of people, it's not into a, like. It's medical waste. No, and that's because that's what society has instilled in you to be afraid. That's why the funeral industry is so much money, makes so much money every year. Terrified. And that's another reason they did it, to make people feel distant from Come death, in, like yeah. they don't want to deal with it. Because back in the day, families would bury their own dead. You would spend time with the body, you would clean it yourself, and you would bury them on probably like your property. Let me finish. So, like, it's like a whole thing to where now people feel distant from, like, they feel like they can't. They So you leave it in the hands of the funeral and, like, strangers to handle your loved one. And it doesn't need to be that way realistically. And also, dead bodies aren't gross. They Once you're dead, you actually can't really transmit any disease. That is fact. Well, you're, you're like essentially a dead chicken. You're full of bacteria. And if you're not, that's mm -mm. not necessarily true. Because, I don't think, I think, like. No, absolutely. Because there was a whole thing back in the 1900s that we had to start burying people because cholera. And it would it taints the water, and it's just like that. You become bacteria in medical waste, and it's not comforting. That's why they have to use a uh, pump you full of crap. But um, it's it's not comforting for me to be around. Like, say, if my dog passes away, right? I get away from that dog so quick. I'm like, it sounds horrible, but it's just like at that point the dog is is like. You know, it's just the shell that is left, so it just sort of doesn't... Okay, well, decomposing bodies do not typically pose a threat unless the victim died of a highly infectious disease. So if they died of a highly infectious disease... Yeah, then... but decomposing is in a, a thing. Like, like, if you had a dog and the dog died, what I'm saying is you wouldn't be leaving the dog around because it gets maggots, right? It gets maggots... Do, do you know what I'm saying? Like a bacteria starts breaking it down. You're not, you know, you don't want to touch it because it's, it's, it's dead. It's, it's dead. It's dead at a point. It starts breaking down, and it's just already carry identical germs in their own bodies. The maggots and other insects, though revolting, also constitute no threat to public health. Rats do host host fleas, which can transmit disease, but rats can health wherever they mingle with people. Despite, um, and then there's also an um, ancient myth of miasma, the foul odor emitted by the body as it rots. It's but, putrid. But it's not gonna kill you. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what Caitlin, like, that's a whole thing that you, like, that is, like, she tries to break it down. Like, decomposing, dead bodies and decomposing bodies are really not ha harmful to you. It's not comforting to be around them. Okay, that's fair to say, but that's just science and the other, like to say they're gross or like. Well, it's medical waste. That's literally like what how the funeral industry has become such a ty typhoon. What's the word for it? Because they made us feel like we can't care for our own 
loved ones when they die. Well, yeah, but there's logistics. You really it can't. Also... You can't bury them in the backyard. Yeah, I know, because they're not allowed to. Um, but there are places that will, like, allow you to be more connected with the process. But, but hang on, hang on. If you buried them wherever, there was a whole problem at the turn of the century in, like, St. Louis, um, New York City, that what happened was people would die and you, you bury them all in one area. There were, like, no, it would get, the dead body gets into the water and creates a problem. You get typhus or cholera or something. Maybe Hillsby can then why tell wouldn't us which it go, one. Why wouldn't the, few, the cemetery down the street get into our well water? Uh, there's there's limitations about like it are there's restrictions you have to bury at a certain depth and you also have to take the bodies take the bodies and inject them with embalming fluid for a reason right like if you don't inject them with embalming fluid they do they it gets rancid doesn't it Hillsby could you answer that question oh he needs someone to tell him he's right no it's like there's something there's a reason why there's I'm rules. sure there's public health reasons now of course there's always risk but there's like I'm saying that there is a huge stigma against the dead and it's for a reason and there are places you can go to that will help you find like land where you, where you can have a natural burial like some people chose to be choose to just be buried in like a wicker casket or something it's not a law that bodies... I don't do the conver... Do, 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 do. Um, it doesn't... It's not a law that bodies need to be embalmed. Oh, okay, okay. But a lot of people think that, though. That's 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 why it's like... What, what about... Um, I know that you can bury yourself... You could get buried in a coffin that's made out of wood, right? That I know. And they're also... I believe there's a religion where they take the wood and they also drill holes into it so that you decompose quicker. The... Funeral home that Ask a Mortician works for, people have, like, there's, like, grass caskets and stuff. It's not a law. It's a city ordinance. Um, or county. There's a lot of misconceptions so. about death, is all I'm saying. And we should not it's be scared. Gross. There are, it's a part of life. Uh, yeah, well, you got more green on the table, sweetie. No, we haven't made hot that? dogs. We haven't made hot dogs because the fire yeah. won't start. I wish we could get the fire started because it's cold. Right. I mean, if you think about it, people were dying for like lots and lots of years before we even became a civ like civilized and they were just dying in their place and they didn't like. Yeah, and also probably don't bury people next to water sources would be smart. <laughs> Toxic, you're gonna watch true crime this late? Okay, what are you gonna watch? What are you what are you um watching about? I support the bog burial, but it should be a beautiful bog because you deserve to be thrown in the most beautiful bog. Peter? What? Okay. There's a lot of voices, so I was scared. There's a lot of voices over there. I know. Th yeah, it's making the dogs bark and I don't know what the fuck it is. Um. Yeah, we haven't eaten the hot dogs because the fire's been going and we're talking about 
Well, this, I think I think death is gross, and it's That's not okay, comforting. That's okay, though. You're allowed to think that. And um, and Desi sees it more as like a natural progression of life. <laughs> Stay away from cemeteries as long as possible. I find it strange when in movies people that are working in the mortuaries and shit are eating sandwiches, and I think most people do too. Oh yeah, like they just eat. Their lunch, they have to, I guess. Yeah. Sure. I don't know if I would be able to do um, that. The other job that I find really fucking strange is the person that puts the makeup on or does the person's hair. Like, oh, just yeah, close that's the actually a completely different out. person than the mortician. Ask a Mortician actually has a few videos with someone who does that, the makeup for. Someone has to do it. I know. I'm, that's why they get paid good money, because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't want to do it. It's gross. Oh, so. It's really fascinating. It's actually like thick airbrush paint. It's not regular makeup. I believe that, because the few times that I've gone to a funeral, and it always cracks me up when somebody says, oh, they look so natural. Oh, okay. Sure they right, do. Right, they like make you look more yeah. lifelike. I'm pretty sure. Um... Oh, you did your mom's makeup and hair? See, I support that. I think people should spend more time with their family because it causes a problem. Like, like you accept it more if you spend time with them. I feel like the, the way that people die and then they're just taken away and you never see them again, you're not involved in anything. I feel like that separates people a lot from their loved one after they die and like, it and like would be like more, I don't know, helpful, I guess. Like, um, yeah, the Yeti is real, and the Yeti has great hair like me, and when the Yeti passes, as same as me, our hair keeps growing, but growing three times as fast. That is a fact. Peter's hair has magical powers. Maybe it like does, Rapunzel. maybe it doesn't. Um, I was in the back room with a... Couch, chair, and an old TV. I went to a funeral home when I was a kid, and my grandmother... What's called to use someone's hair. That's interesting. I don't like cemeteries. Either do I, toxic. They're gross, right? This is weird. Like. Something about the French Quarter in New Orleans. Oh, cool. Um. Hey, look, we got more smoke. Maybe that means it's gonna take off. Um, oh. P I mean, toxic. If you like true crime, you should watch. Have you seen the show Mind Hunter? It's kind of cool because these two detectives. Um. Don't spam, dude. They interview murderers, like really notorious murderers, like Ed Kemper, Charles Manson, um, Richard Kuklinski. It's interesting that you're talking about this because we have a jail for the criminally insane. And occasionally people like escape from there and then don't Stop, worry about it. Freak me out. I heard talking. voice I heard voices over I know, there. I was Kemper was scary. Don't worry, you'll be all right. Kemper is also really well, we fascinating to me, now. though. Look at it. Look at it burn, baby, burn. He was the one that liked the heels, correct? And he did it. He, um... I've seen BuzzFeed on Solved. Yeah, they're, they're good. And so is another YouTuber is, um... Bailey Sitterian. And the funeral she does, lady. She um, does murder and makeup. Oh. Well, what's the funeral lady's channel called? Uh, Ask a Mortician. Is it real popular? Yeah. Like how popular? Like how many subs? Millions? Well, it's growing a lot. Yeah, she probably is at millions by now. She's been like featured on TV and stuff now. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I'm happy for her. I wouldn't want her job though. I don't know. I had a friend. I'm not gonna say who, any names or anything, but his job during college. He's, I'm not gonna even say what he does. Then what are you gonna say? But. <laughs> Um, it's sort of in the medical field, and his job was to watch a funeral home at night. Oh, like, they always have to have somebody there, because, you know, it's people's Yeah, they have ones. security and stuff. So that was him, and he would, um, I never did, but there were people that went in there that I know that 
around the dead bodies. Really? And I was just like, and one time they, I heard that they did acid, and I'm like, really? And they go, yeah, it was that pretty fucking weird. That would F me up for life. But it was just go, like going to ever... this guy's job. It was like no big deal. I never understood that. Or like people that do acid and watch like really gory, bloody horror movies. Like what? I don't like that. Tell me why, because that I'm would ruin me it. psychologically and like trigger like several mental illnesses that are lying dormant i dated this one chick years ago and she liked watching that like sort of gory stuff uh like real life tv type yeah. stuff but i'm like why are you watching this like what, what do you get out yeah, of that sure. oh, i think it's interesting look at what we got there look at that baby burn Burn, baby, burn. We're gonna make hot i don't know dogs. i don't watch tv anymore i don't even i guess they still have stuff like that on right like the, I don't know. What? Just, just the gory TV. Um. I know that they have shows about like the people that are in the, uh, the prison that's 20 miles away from the criminally insane. And sometimes on TV they talk about it when uh, people escape. A guy escaped recently, but he's probably long gone. Like, you know, he's probably long gone. Oh gosh. We just got a Netflix. We've been watching Ozark. Yeah, speaking of creepy. That uh, that show is a good show. I like it. Oh, Willie. Thank you. Um. I don't mean. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, Ozark is good. It's nonstop. Look behind you. What? No. Oh, I'm not shit, gonna I thought look. I saw something move. Thank you. I appreciate that. Don't worry about it, Destiny. It's nothing. It's nothing. You'll be all right. We're on, we're on live. We're live streaming, so if something happens, you'd be stupid to try something now. Why would you call out to him? Just to warn the insane person from the jail for the insane. Can't not warn to, an insane not person. to mess with us. Bateman is priceless and everything. Yes. That's true. He plays that so deadpan. Yeah, it's he's incredible. So good at... Yeah, he's really good. Um, and I could I could see a psychopath being like that. Like, you know, he's. Uh, I'm I'm just a I'm just a business guy. Yeah. Nixie, what have you been watching? The Punisher and the film Awake. Awake. Oh, this is stupid. Crawl. That crawl. Is that is that a story about like a psycho that escapes from a, a jail for the mentally insane? It's all right. I did hear voices. Did you hear voices? Yeah, I'm like I can't focus because I'm freaked out. Oh, you'll be okay. Don't worry about it. I think it's just you... the neighbors or something. No, it wasn't the neighbors. Well, thank you, thank uh, you balance, balance No Food Dog Training. Uh, Blair Witch, that's that's a... Um, I have a lot of appreciation for that movie. It was an interesting approach. Yeah, they started that style of sure. film. It's pretty awesome. Little Blair Witch, made with a couple cameras. Do you hear that? No. You don't hear this? <laughs> She don't hear that. I do hear it. This is a actually this hot is hot dog. We're we're um we are on a burial ground, a Native American burial ground, and it has been said to be haunted. Now that doesn't bother me a bit because that was hundreds of years ago. There's no disgusting rotting. Django is a good movie. Django is a great movie. That is true. Um, oh, that that style of filmmaking would be dizzy. That is true. Like, they do a lot of camera shaking and stuff. Also, to like hide it. It like, was. I'm sorry. It was a female Sasquatch, dude. Okay. It was a female Sasquatch. All right. Wants another knobber. I know what you're trying to infer. I said it was a female Sasquatch, and it's rude of you. They're, honey, do you see what they're, they're doing? Bringing that up is rude. I was. The Big Lebowski is great. I was talking about that just an hour ago. Yeah, you were. You were wanting to yeah, watch it. Yeah, the, the bowling scene. Because in the Amish show, 
with the, the kid, Abe, that Destiny has a crush on. <laughs> They're bowling, right? And they do a total thing with the music and everything. You know how, like, um, with, uh, who plays that part? Don Juan? Yeah, well, yeah. They... It's like, um, like, suave music. Like... Yeah, it's suave music. They're doing it with the Amish kids, but you know the scene when, oh, what's his name with the, uh, you know. He's just bowling. Yeah, but, um. Yeah, that's a great movie, The Big Lebowski. How many times have you seen that? Never. R I know. Are you serious? Wow. We should watch We're it. We're watching it tonight, because okay. wait till you see that movie. You've been on a that is movie. one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. It was put together nicely. Um, Oh, you know they what? do a lot of marijuana jokes in there, which I like. Don't really find that funny, but some of the <laughs> fucking scenes, like when Je Jeff goes out there, he's by the pool, and Bunny's out there, and she says, "I'll suck your cock for a thousand dollars," you know. It's like I'm going to the cash machine, and then right on cue, fucking uh, what's his name, Philip Seymour Hoffman, playing one of the best. Oh my God! I love Philip Seymour Hoffman. He played, he played Brant, the the butler. Like you'll see, like Philip Hoffman played that so good. You'll see, like he put everybody in that movie did such a good job. We like should it, watch it. Oh, we will. I'll I've watched, it. I've watched it more than once. I'll tell you that, and I'll watch it again. It's funny. Yeah, the dude. Funny. Yeah, he gets a knobber in the movie too from a big foot. No, he doesn't. And, um, it was, a, it was a, you know this, it was a female Sasquatch. It wasn't a man. It was? It was a female, man. I told, it's female. Females, I know the difference. You got real serious. Yeah, because uh, somebody's like, you know, they say that stuff, it is not true. It's not true. <laughs> It's not. It was female. It was female Sasquatch. I, I totally know the difference. Trust me. Okay. Hey, P.O. Oh, P.O., what's up? How are you? Yeah, I would raise the cub if a cub existed, but it doesn't, okay? Um... I'm Look at this fire. I'm really hungry. Well, let's throw, a hot, hot, throw some hot dogs on there, baby. Put them on. Where's the, where's the, where's the thingy? What? Oh, why are you giving me this? Here you go. Are you, oh, you gonna, you wanna put the hot dogs on? Yeah. All right. I'll just stand here. She's giving me the pickles, and I don't really want them. But um, did I she really have big plate. feet? Yeah, she had big feet, man. I brought this plate so we could put our. To get the hot dogs Oh, well, together. listen, you're thinking, um, sure. What do you want, you want me to hold <laughs> I don't it? No, I don't know. <laughs> Just put it back where it was. Okay. No marshmallows, but we do have them inside. Oh, this is weird. We're looking at the marshmallow. We had steak the other night. Oh, yeah. We look at the marshmallow package the other day, and it says, this is true. It says, may, I'm looking at it, it goes, may contain tilapia. And I'm like, looking at it, and this thing's right there. I'm like, honey, will you, will you, what does this word say? Because I'm like, so, <laughs> are you kidding me? And she goes, tilapia. It says that it may contain tilapia. And then it says something about bioengineered food or something. Yeah. But yeah, marshmallows. May contain tilapia? <laughs> it's so, a marshmallow. That's so fucking random. Yeah, of all the things. I, did, I, I saw it. And I might not have even had my glasses on. I'm not sure. I might have looked at it and thought, tapioca? Yeah, you thought it said tapioca at first. And then I'm like... <laughs> he asked me to confirm. To is, me that, is that tilapia? Like, I... Like, how? Like, yeah, when? Where, <laughs> where do they... Type where it could in, that cross Type it in your computer machine where she has a picture of a melon one on her phone. I want that. Destiny wants a ball dog. She wants a melanoir. Or I have lots of top favorites. Oh, yeah. Contenders. 
I'd like to get a puppy, but I'm always into training somebody's dog. Um, well, I want to learn to train. May, maybe, maybe they make marshmallows and process fish in the same machines. Um, probably the fish oil processing Oh, machine. it's only in Walmart. Is it? Okay, we, um... They can fa contain fish gelatin. They're just processed. Gelatin. They're processed in the same... Oh, wait, they contain fish gelatin? Okay, all right. Well, you make jello from bones. So maybe they... Use. Yeah, from bones, tendons, and ligaments. Yeah, so maybe that's what they do. Oh, it's fish gelatin. Huh. That's interesting. I didn't expect to see that. It's just something that makes you feel weird. Uh, like, yeah. You mean like strawberries? I, I believe strawberries, they, they put in a gene from a flounder. Like, they bioengineered that so that they can handle cold better. I don't know. How do you do that? I'm fine with it, though. I am. I'm totally fine with it. Um, Should we toast our buns? Um, I don't know. You're the cook. You're cooking. Look at you go, man. Are they too close together? Uh, you're doing a great job, baby. You are. You cook it. You got your. You got your tongs and everything. Yeah. Better hold on to them. Don't don't burn the jumbo wieners. We are having Chicago style. What are you doing? Sterilizing. Oh. They've been outside. It's true. But I spit on them and then rubbed them off on my. Oh okay. So they're probably pretty clean. Uh, Chippy wants wants that tent. Chip, Chippy's a little munchkin. I should go get him. I, sh <laughs> I should go get him. Yeah. Um, I, Chippy's doing great. Um, he's just staying with us. He's not doing a uh, board and train. He's just boarding here. Um, or else I'd be making video with him. Um, but maybe a dog with some, some issues coming. Um, Hang on. Here. Oh, these are jumbo. Oh, yeah, those look great, right? Wow. She's toasting the buns. You gotta toast the buns. You gotta toast the buns, evidently. Toast that bun, baby. Okay. We got the we got the buns. That no, here. Yeah. Like this. Like that, right? Oh. Don't you think? I thought that would break it in half. Oh, smoke in my eyes. Right there, it's pretty. Where the uh? What? What about the big foot? Where there are big foot, there tend are to be dog Are you doing one or two? I'll, I'll start with I'll one. Do, I'll start with one. And then we'll make a... Yeah. Should I toast sure. four buns or do that? Because the fire might go out. Uh, no, the fire won't go out. It's going real good now. Okay, cool. We're sad. It it, it took a... Uh, I'm, you'd kill for a hot dog right now. Uh, do you think big foot come from you? No. It, well, yes. It's, they're, it's related. Yeah, it's a biological recording device. Um, it's so clear. The sky is so clear. We're, you know, we're up. The elevation's really high here where we're camping. Peter, when can we expect the arrival from of the Greys? That's a good question. I don't know. Where they've been acting? I don't know. You figure um, they started making appearance like in the in the fifties, right? So it's been about seventy years, and like lately, there seems to be more and more stuff, and we have the government admitting that 
<laughs> you know, there's stuff that they can't explain finally, so... Um, I don't know. I would think that people like Elon Musk would have some information. There's probably people that have information that know stuff that aren't supposed to say stuff, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? So don't, you know... Who knows? You could wake up tomorrow. Um, the government is behind the recent UFO sightings by naval aircraft, etc. How? Really? Even the Mexican government, they're all, they're all in, the, like, this cabal? Is that what you think? Gold. Um, maybe the aliens are the only thing keeping us from blowing each other to hell. Or maybe not. Um, are you are you gonna make me a wiener and everything? Yeah. Wow. Well, do you want me to? You don't. Oh yeah, baby. I don't want to put it together wrong. You won't. You know what to put in there. You got it going on, baby. I hear voices again. I know. Do you think that the government is now releasing UFO sighting information that there is some yeah, more sinister than they don't want us to know? I think that they don't know. Do you have my phone? Yeah. I honestly think that that's it. Um, um, Got to... Keep the money flowing to national defense. I'm not saying extraterrestrials. I'm saying activity has gained traction as a ploy to get money. What do you mean, like Trump's space force? Is that what you're talking about? The space force. Ah. You all right? Yeah. Do you think these are toast? Sure. Do you, oh, I think those are ready. Okay. But okay. unless you want me to burn them off. No, I think we should move them off to the side. Smoked wieners. Maybe not that far. Where? What? Nothing. Here, you go. You, you do it. <sighs> What brand of hot dogs? Those might be Hebrew, Hebrew uh, National. Yeah, Reagan and Star Wars. But they never finished it. He was afraid. He, he saw something in a, his airplane when he was a governor. They saw something. So, who knows what the presidents are told, honestly. I don't know. His vibrant took a bullet for him. Good night, Toxic. Yeah, Carter saw one. Good I night. think he saw one down in Plains, Georgia on his farm. That's what I think. No, G. Carter. Um, I think it was Reagan. Reagan saw some and so did Carter. Jimmy Carter. Uh, there's a lot of people that have seen shit. I saw something. Destiny saw something. Oh, yeah. I've seen several things. Um, that were just like, what is that? Then I've seen other things that are like, well, I'm not sure what that was. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, look at Destiny going to town with the old wiener over there. There you go. Uh, you saw one zip off Saturday, is that right? That's what they do, they'll just sort of disappear. No, I've never seen a Thunderbird. Um, the freaks in black have never come see me, but the day after I... S me and Destiny saw something. This black helicopter kept coming around. 
this is true. It was weird. Like all day, I'd go outside and there was like this weird black helicopter, and there's never a helicopter in the area. Um, can we get a view of the hot dogs? Yeah, when when we're gonna eat them in a minute. I'm camping, man. Look at the moonlight. It's just like it's so bright here. It's unbelievably bright. Oh, look at her going to town. Pork of beef. I think those are Hebrew national. I think they're beef. Yeah, I know that. Evidently, they did mess with our. Yep, yeah, they can turn stuff on and off. When, when I was with Destiny, she got stuff on film, but on video, but it didn't work on her camera. But it was going directly to Google. So it worked, but my camera, it was, I don't know, got me. You should see the little chef over here. Hey, you want to see the little chef? Look at the little chef. She's like, oh, yeah, look at that. Those look great. Do you want to take yours? Sure, hang on. Here, you can put more mustard if you want. Is mustard on it? There's mustard on it, yeah, but. Oh, then I'm fine with this. This is great. Yum. Oh, baby, thank you. Thank you. What a champ. You made the fire. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mustard, not ketchup. I lost my pickle. You want another one? No, I'm all right. Why not? This is good. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. That is great. You guys should date. Dude, we live together. I'm in love with Destiny. You should date. Baby, do you want to date? Sure. Okay, we're gonna date. No, we're not married. Um, oh, yours move mine, the one that I saw that went behind the barn was an orb, and it was sort of just levitating or something, I don't know, it's in 25 mile an hour winds, and it was um, just going at this steady pace, and it wasn't going real fast, I don't know, 50 miles an hour or something. It's, I was about 500 feet away at a point. Um, oh, I was close enough. I was like 500 feet. So if it was at a distance, it would look pulsating. But what it was, was it had like lights that went up it and like it, you know, like all around it, like, you know, like that. And it was mostly red lights, but there were some whitish lights, but it gave, an overall appearance, the orb, that it was like, it was red. It was like, it was red. It was like a real reddish glowing thing. Um, I remember when it was coming from the, from the, the one direction, from that direction, it was, um, I, I was like, it reminded me of like the red of like a stoplight. Like it was real bright like that. 
And I'm like, what is that? And then as it started getting closer, it was, get, it was getting weirder and weirder. And I was like, when I was, when I was at the barn, I was like, am I seeing, I'm seeing something from another world. I, I said that, like, I'm seeing something from another world. Then I screamed out, I'm like, I heard a car door over here slam, and I'm, I'm like, do you see that? And my neighbor said, yeah, I see it. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Flip me out for, st still flips me out. It's delicious, right? Mm -hmm. The combination, look at that, she's like an animal. That's beautiful, baby. Shut up. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna have to eat another one. Because I really eat like an animal because I'm already done. Don't I eat like a pig? Sometimes <laughs> I eat and Destiny will No, you eat go, very polite, but you eat fast. Oink, oink, oink. Oh, yeah. She, he's an oinker. No, he does that to me. I don't, baby. <laughs> yeah. I don't do that. <laughs> I've never done that. <laughs> you, 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 you notice the, uh, the celery salt? It really, you know, you got to have the celery salt for some reason. It's delicious. Should I eat another one? Mm -hmm. I'm going to probably. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna make myself another one. Okay. Oh, I didn't grill a bun, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Can you put one on there for me? Yes, ma'am. Oh well, now you now now I feel like I need to. <laughs> it just makes it so good. We use celery salt. It's um pickle, tomato, pepperoncini. Sorry, I'm talking in my mouth. Full. Um, chopped white onion, mustard. There's an onion here. I don't know. And I dropped two things. Oh, do you want the plate? No, I'm cool. No, baby, you eat it. You eat the plate. Plates are for women. I was hey, Linda. I was joking. Uh huh. awkward. What? Oh, it's kind of awkward what? eating a hot dog on camera. I will. I know. Mm. There's no mm. like... <laughs> this is funny. Mm. <laughs> Wait, I want to... Oink, oink. Go ahead, baby. 
I can take it. <laughs> wow. I know it's so good. Wow, you feel this bun so nice. I remember um, when I first had one of these, I was like, I was, I was in Chicago. I moved there like right, at, right after college. Really? I lived on these things. That's awesome. I was working at Chicago Silk Screen. I wasn't making a lot of money. You get a lot of vegetables. Mm hmm. I hated that job. God, I hated it. That was good. Seriously. That is that is the only way to eat a hot dog. I would also um, eat a lot of tacos because it was like this real Hispanic area that I lived in. It's like right at Chicago and Ashland. And um, I mean, that's totally different area now. It's all gentrified. But when I was there, it was just like, you know, you know, illegal people and shit. I loved living in that area. I didn't really like Chicago, though. I was really bummed out about it. So I went back to Kansas City. But, um... That's the one thing that I got out of that. Was that I, um... Found your love for Chicago hot dogs. Yeah, Chicago hot dogs. That town has a great, a great hot dog. Like New York City, like they're known for, you know, getting a slice of pizza. Chicago is known for the hot dog. Oh my God, there's nothing like that. Oh, Hillsby's going to sleep. Um, oh, Linda, don't go. Wait, hey, list. what's the song tonight? To the Land of Dreams, myself. I only wanted one. I, uh, I, in Brooklyn, I would, or New York, I, I would eat street vendor food a lot of times. There was a guy that, like, um, was up by the Rite Aid. Um, man, he was out there every day. They'd be out there every day of, you know, every day of the year. They never took a day off. You go up there. Look how beautiful. And, like, I would get it. It looks good. Um, I would get, uh, like, lamb on rice with salad. And um, that, that one seemed fairly clean, you know. Sometimes I'd go get, like, uh, food from um, one of the street vendors and they have dirty hands, but I'd eat the food anyway. The cheese man has dirty hands. Yeah, the cheese man has filthy hands. Don't trust him. Um, I noticed when I was in the city, when I was emptying out my studio, I noticed that none of the street vendors were even wearing masks, which I thought was really weird. Um, you know, the pandemic's going on. And I'd see people like, I was going through like, uh, sort of this area that's like, you know, it's not Williamsburg anymore. It's it's getting into like Bed Stuy or uh, um, you know, like sort of that 
Anyway, to make a long story short, um, I see like the yuppie type couple up there like ordering their, you know, from the street vendor, not having mask on. I, I don't know. How is that? It's good, right? Delish. Yeah, that, that street vendor food, I do miss that. Uh, out of the street vending food, I think the thing that I miss the most would be like, um, there would be like um, Hispanic people, like like usually it was me Mexican or Central American, and then do like a little kind of charcoal grill, like this little charcoal grill, and what they'd do is they'd have like, like meat on just like pork, it was usually pork, cheap pork, on a like shish kebab. You shave it off? No, no, they, they cook it like a shish kebab sort of. It would already be sort of pre-cooked, and you'd ask for one, one, two, whatever. And so they'd throw it back on the charcoal just to warm it up for you. Oh, nice. And then they'd say hot sauce or barbecue sauce, and then they put that on there like the last minute or so. And then when they give it to you on the stick, the shish, it's just meat. It's just pork, usually. They take one piece of, like, French bread, and it goes on the top of the stick. Oh, so yeah. You, I loved it. It was Love it was just charcoal meat, and that's yeah, it, with some sauce on it and bread. That's God, why street vendors that. are so awesome. Yeah, it's, it's great. So you, usually, you, or like, um, sometimes people would sell empanadas that have like, um, empanadas all fried and everything, and then they walk around, but you know, these people are, you know, trying to make a living. They're, you know, probably not legal and shit. They're trying to make a buck. Uh, it's rough work. They do it all day. You'd see them with like the cooler type thing, like a cooler th with a handle, but they wouldn't use it with ice. They'd use it to keep the empanadas and stuff warm. And so they'd sort of like walk around Brooklyn and certain areas with that. I, you know, I always, Girls yeah, I always wanted school. to give them my business because I, I, I never had any problem with that. Screw the health department or whatever. I'm eating the food and I'm tipping the person like you know come on man that's tough work they gotta get the meat they gotta they gotta get out there they gotta buy the charcoal you know they're providing a service like i don't know how many times i was starving and there was somebody either with empanadas or like one of the dudes like mexican dudes with the charcoal grill that just I'm like i'm starving I'll, t I'll take one or two like god i love it. that's one thing that i miss about the city it's like that, that's one. Oh my God, food that easy cheap. Easy access to food that cheap, yeah. Yeah, and great food. Like one person can eat for forty bucks, and it'd just be like best food you've ever eaten. Like up here, nothing. There's no restaurants really. There's pudgies, which we're gonna get delivered, and that's gonna be an experience. And Destiny's gonna love it. Pudgies is, I don't know, not the best. But Pudgies, interesting enough, was started in 1963. I know that because on the menu it had like a um, a race car Do you on it. More water? You drink it all? Oh man, so this is all we got. Oh, there's more in the tent. There's the whole thing. Would you like me to get it in the tent? You can hold this. Okay. Um. And uh, so anyway, pudgies, pudgies. They, I have had pudgies, like they have lasagna, spaghetti, stuff like that. I'll eat it, like, you know, it's fine. It's not great, but most of what's around here is like diners with comfort food. It's real unhealthy. It's not, you know. You're not gonna be able to find quail in a restaurant around here, or like, uh, well, maybe. Maybe Ithaca or Corning, maybe. Um, S cargo, probably not. Um, yeah, we're in New York State. These jeans look good on you. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. You really pack them in, baby. Okay. Those are mine. Sure. No, they're they mine. Are. I'm wearing Peter's pants. We wear the same clothes. <laughs> we're exactly the same size. <laughs> not really. I'm a little smaller. They're baggy. I'm a aren't. behemoth. They're falling off a little bit, but they fit good on the legs. Do they? Yeah. Because that's where they don't fit me real good. Because I got chicken legs. <laughs> it's true. 
Wow, you ate two hot dogs? Is yeah. this true? There's a little bit left in there if you want it. See? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to finish it yeah. because we don't want it to go to waste, so. Wow, that's a lot for Destiny. Destiny usually. I know it tastes, I was eating for taste. Eats like a bird. If there was an eating competition between me and Destiny, I would win on more food consumed and two to three times faster. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't fuck around. He does not. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna get it done. Peter does like sardines. Oh yeah. Mm-mm. That is really great, cooked to perfection. Maybe that was smart getting the jumbos. Yeah. I'll never buy the regular ones again. God, that was good. I'm Destiny the Vampire Girl. She's a vampire. You know, so she's talking about how death is whatever. I'm terrified of it. It's easy when we're not gonna, when you get to live thousands of years. Yeah, I guess it's easy for yeah. me to say. Yes, oh yeah, it's great. No thanks. Um, from there you go. You want me to tell you a story, Destiny? Well, about a year and a half ago, they locked this guy away in the... I hate this story. Insane asylum no. prison. No. It's about 20 miles from here, and, um, well, recently he escaped, and I don't know, like, may maybe he came down the railroad tracks, maybe he hasn't, maybe he's, um, you know, I don't know. We don't know where he is. He could be living in the barn. He could be eating beanie weenies or something in the barn. You go check. He could, he could be, he's insane. So you know what he could have done? He could have gone to New York City and he could be hanging around with our Amish kids. I wonder how they're doing. Oh, I don't know. I think Abe's okay. And Jeremiah and Kate and... and Hang on, I'll get the other, uh, uh, let me get the blonde chick's name. It's Rebecca. Not... Man! <laughs> you only... were never gonna remember. I was gonna say Ruby. Ruby? I don't know. Um. Tell a scary story. I just did. Not that one, come on. That's the one that's real. There was a, well, recently there was somebody that escaped from and being incarcerated about 20 miles away. And um, I didn't want to tell Destiny about it because I thought she'd freak out. Which I did. But you haven't really because they haven't caught the guy. And um, there have been people that have been like, there's a lady down the street that like, uh, you know, she puts her pies in the window to cool. And like those have been disappearing from the, that's what I heard, like. Uh, what is it, Rumpelstiltskin? No, Sally Johnson down the road. She bakes us. Those pies put some in the window to cool it and they've been disappearing. You so know, this area is that kind of area where Sally Johnson is baking pies and putting yeah. them on her window. Old Sally Johnson. Mm. And uh, Not... it's believed that maybe the psycho from the insane asylum that um, chops people up and then eats them. I don't know. It's, it could be him. But they're going to find him, so I wouldn't worry about it. They'll find him. And listen, if he comes here, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold him down. You call <laughs> No, you call 
the police, they'll come and take them away and then we'll get the big reward. Ooh. Oh, you think differently <laughs> about it now, don't you? Yeah, as yeah. long as you hold him down, you apprehend him. I just gotta... I'll hold him down. I just gotta make the phone call. Just, you know, <laughs> you know, just make the phone call. Um, maybe we will find him tonight. No, the guy's name wasn't Peter. What's that supposed to mean? Aww. Well, that's mean, man. I thought you were an outlaw. Well, I'm not a insane person. I don't know. Um, no, his name wasn't Peter. It was, uh, Gunther. Gunther, uh, von... Gunther. No, it was Gunther von something. Gunther von. Who's this German dude? Gunther um, von Kuncher. You missed my Bigfoot uh, videos. Um, really? Because we put one out like three weeks ago. Something like that. Within the last month, we put out one. So, you know. And there's how many? I have hundreds. Did you hear that? I think we put one out the other day. Um. Sounds beautiful. Yeah, I've heard of the Minnesota Iceman. What does he do? Oh, it's just this guy that was found. So he dressed like a caveman or something. Didn't his, didn't that go missing at some point? Um, is it like, like a caveman or right? He wasn't Bigfoot. He was like a caveman. Tell us about the Minnesota Ice Man. I can't remember. Stop messing with me. Okay, I didn't do yeah. it. Yes, you did. That yes, was, you did. That was a tremor coming up from the ground. It was a Bigfoot. Oh, is that right? The Minnesota Ice Man was a Bigfoot? Where'd he go? Something happened to him. He was, he was dead. Where did was, he come from? Where wasn't did he, he go? Somebody found him and, um, and then, like, they were traveling this carcass, or you could go see it or something. It's gross. Um, I don't know. They keep him on ice. Want to Google it? Yeah, but, yeah, do it. But I don't think he's around anymore. I think that the, it was, like... Wasn't it a cute hit? The guy that had him, like, didn't they say he was a hoaxer? Those hoaxers piss me off. Minnesota Iceman. It, yeah, it was displayed on a sh sideshow, but the guy got spooked when the authorities took notice. Uh, they, this person needs to go, right? I think. I don't know. Let's see the name. Probably. What's it? What's it say? Let's see him. Oh yeah, that's him. That's not him. Oh, is that him? Yeah, that, that's what I've seen. Something like that. Who's that ice man? That just pisses me off. Abducted? No, they never probed me. Whoa. Abducted? I don't know. That's, I had a dream. I had some dreams. What? Most pictures of the Minnesota Iceman are protected by copyright. Huh. None of the pictures famously associated with it are available free. That's interesting. What, so you can buy a picture? Well, this person says I've created some Minnesota Iceman images of my own and releasing them as public domain. Huh.
Look at that, he's got a Schmanzer's. He gave him a wiener. It's unbelievable. Huh. That, uh, um, um, that's not really a Bigfoot. Bigfoot has shorter legs and a longer torso. Um, the, uh, it's a claim the body had been discovered floating in a block of ice off the uh, Siberian coast of Russia, seal hunting vessel. Later, he said, a Japanese whaling ship found the body later still. He said that it had been found in a deep freeze facility in Hong Oh, so he had multiple stories. Which one was it? They later said it was that the animal. That's a picture I've seen. Oh. Huh. I don't I don't know what to believe. Apparently there's multiple versions of it. Yeah. I, I don't need to worry about that. I have a real big, I have real big foot, frozen. Apparently two scientists were so convinced of its reality that they prepared detailed illustrations and planned to have the creature described in the technical literature. Of its day? The body was that of a robust barrel chested male with a thick neck and large hands and feet was broad, flattened, and possessed a short, upturned nose and prominent brow. An eyeball dangled from one of the sockets, apparently resulting from a gunshot to the back of the head, and a bend in the forearm was interpreted as evidence for a fractious radi fractured radius and ulna. Scientists were intrigued by its enormous hands. Its thumb was slender, tapered, and long. Its nails were flat, yellow, and of an appearance that almost looked manicured. A heel-like pad was present on the palm's outer side. So that's like here, right? Or the here. The, the outer side, here? Yeah, the outer side, okay. A feature suggested to be indicative of habitual quadrupedal behavior. Jerking so it her. walked. <laughs> yeah, I bet you wish you had one of those. It's a jerker. He had large hands and a pad. That's right. And You're we know what he used them for. You're a freak. Well, no, the bonobo chimps. Come on. Um, actually, me. it means that he walked on four limbs. Oh, oh, well, that's <laughs> something different. Of course. I, I, I've heard people say that what I have are, are giants, and they're, they're not. That's Bigfoot. They're not, they're not giants. He's jerking they're it big. in the picture. He's sort of jerking, it's in between his finger. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Maybe that's how he does it. Check out the scroto. <laughs> who wrote, who, who drew that? Sanderson? Oh, apparently in a 1969 Belgian scientific journal, it is officially identified as a new species of the human genus that he named Homo pangoides. Or Homo pongoids. Meaning ape-like man. I don't Later, know. Later, he said, he retracted his statement and said that it was a Neanderthal. Oh, there's the dogs. That's our cue to go watch the Big Lebowski. Mm -hmm. We gotta go watch the Big Lebowski. Wait, let's say bye to everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. See y'all. I hear coyote. Yeah, Sanderson and Bernard who have old men's That's who. That's what I was reading. Please, 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 Mr. Kane. What will it take for me? To persuade you that I would purchase a Voom shirt. Go buy another shirt. 
<laughs> Go buy it. I, I have I have hundreds of designs. I'll okay. make we can make one boom shirt. There is a any shirt that you buy from from Teespring, okay? That's your boom shirt. <laughs> all right. That's all you need to do. All right. All right. What if we just made one? I'm not doing that. If I if I make if I the oh, next if shirt I, make I, it. I don't care if you make it. Will you like it. will you put your will you mark on it? I don't I don't sign the shit. It's hard to get him. He does not sign things. Why would I do that? Because people want your signature. Well, then buy some artwork. They should. You should buy some artwork. Some of the stuff on Teespring is signed, but it's like flat work. Buy it. Go ahead. Tell them, baby. Tell them, say, buy it. Buy it. Buy it. There's stuff that is signed. I'll take a Destiny Design Boom shirt over no Boom shirt. There okay, you go. I'll make one. Um. If I encounter you, sign an autograph. Give you an autograph of what? Yeah. Like, uh, ma'am, are you. You want me to write on your breast? Destiny would like that. I'm pretty sure that's not what they were talking about. Oh, okay, but I've seen that done. Oh, what do you want what me to- What do you think you are, Ricky Bobby? Yes, exactly. Where would I be <laughs> giving you an, like what? Like, here's a napkin? Yeah. Peter Kane was here? Why would you want that? Oh, I know, to use it as toilet paper. <laughs> not very nice. People do want your autograph, you're cool. No, it's not worth anything. It's ridiculous. We're gonna go um, at the grocery store on a banana. Yeah, because yeah, because that, I would like to see you try and keep that signature. Okay. Oh yeah, it would go bad, and yeah. then it would not be good anymore. But I'm gonna tell you a story about somebody I know, and it's not me. Plantain, and turned it into a marijuana pipe. Okay? Oh yeah, I've seen that. And what, what they did was they, you know, they cut the, a bowl area and then they, you know, made it, you know, into a pipe. And then they put it on a radiator and the radiator, it dried it out hard as a rock. That's interesting. Yes. There's someone I know, not me, because I wouldn't make anything like that. That's paraphernalia. Stay away from that stuff, kids. Just say no. No. That's what you do, you say no. So Nancy Reagan, she started that, I think. Just say no. Simple as that. That's my story about Destiny's going to sleep. We're gonna watch The Big Lebowski. Yay! We're gonna go watch The Dude. The man. No, it's The Dude. Oh, That's the his dude. name. Yeah. Sorry. All right, we're, go we're gonna go. Bye, everyone. Thanks for coming. Come Bye. back again next time. Thank you. It was nice eating hot dogs. Thank <laughs> you.